and we have here. Uh, so the the question is, what is gain staging? So let's let's use one of the loops that I was playing around with. Uh, I still have it here. Yeah, let's remove the plugins that I had. So uh, let's do something that I like to do to uh, exemplify what is gain staging. Let's go with where is it? Visual uh, dB meter. Let's bring two dB meters. dB meter and let's add here again a filter. So we have our loop, something that we want to mix. And if I put this side by side like this, and if I put this one here and this one here, we have the input uh, uh, volume, and then we have the processing, and then we have the output volume of the EQ. So we have the source material here on the left, then we have EQ, and then we have the source the output of the EQ on the right in terms of volume, in terms of dB. If I start applying something like this, what this is doing is that I'm removing some of the high frequencies here. I'm applying a shelf with uh, minus 18 dBs. What happened is that if, uh, if I look at this, they might seem the same, but in reality, if I put them side by side, we can see that this one is a little bit less than that one. So if I want to maintain the same gain, the same output gain, I would have to increase the gain just a little bit so that my gains match um, in terms of, uh, of, uh, of volume. Maybe a little bit less, maybe one, one dB. And this could be just one dB of, of um, of difference but for instance if I do something like this then we start to get a big difference here and you can see and now the thing that I have to do is increase the volume here so that I can still have the same peak peak volume so the input and the output they both have the same gain I would say but now we applied some um, some effect to it and why this is very important when you are mixing because uh, you want your effects to have uh, uh, you want your effects to not um, how can I say this you don't want to be fooled by you by the effects that you are playing because usually what happens is that when we are doing applying effects to a mix uh, if the if it makes if the effect that we apply makes makes the mix louder or the instrument louder we might think that is making the instrument better when in reality when it gets louder it's not necessarily better because what happens to our or the way our ears work is that if it's louder it sounds good or it sounds better but in reality you don't want that if you are mixing a track what you want to do is first have um, have your processing done and then you want you want to gain stage so that the same input that you had in the beginning you will have at the end or in the same in terms of the same db level at least the peak level it's not always uh, <clears throat> completely like one to one but you want to match as close as possible and then when you remove the eq or remove the processing then you can really see if this is making a big difference in your track so that's why gain staging is so important <clears throat> and uh, let's let's now see what happens when I remove the CQ? And of course, this is a, a extreme example. But we see that we have the same gain. And that's the point here. The point of gain staging is maintaining the same gain before and after your effects, because that's when you can make sure that you are really, really affecting your tracks and making sure that uh, your your uh, static mix is well maintained or you maintain the same levels that you start when you did the static mix. So that's that's a simple concept, but it's very, very important. I think my mixes started to be way, way better whenever I start um, doing these little concepts, when I started implementing the 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 concepts of uh, static mix and gain staging, my mixes became really, really cool and way better. And um, yeah, so so it's a very important thing to understand gain staging. And uh, if you do get it, 
um, you should you should try to apply in all of your mixes.